In this video, we will generate joints between the chassis members, learn to generate objects and then apply a suitable mesh to our geometry. Once the common vertices have been shared within the geometry, the chassis is now ready to be imported into ANSYS Mechanical. For this, we go to the Model tab and click on the Edit option which automatically imports our chassis model into Mechanical. By expanding the Geometry tab, we see the chassis members have been imported based on their component names as defined within SpaceClaim. Let's select all the members and confirm within the Definition window that they have been imported as beams. Currently the geometry appears as a wireframe, but if we would like to change it to cross-sectional or beam view, we can simply go to the view tab and choose from the multiple existing options. The materials tab shows us the currently active materials which can be assigned to any member within the model. By default, structural steel is assigned to the imported members, and we will keep it the same for this example. In the Cross Sections tab, we can verify the assigned beam profile by confirming the values of the inner and outer radius. Assigning joints to members provides a method for allowing only a particular type of motion to exist between two entities. In our model, spherical joints have to be defined at the vertices connecting the suspension arms with the chassis frame. While there also exists spherical joints between the uprights and upper suspension arms and revolute between uprights and lower suspension arms. By default, fixed joints are assigned between the members. To assign a joint connection, we can go to Connections tab, press the right-click button and select the Joint option. In the Details window, select the Reference Scope as the Wishbone Vertex and Mobile Scope as the Chassis Body. These two can be interchanged and would still have the same type of connection behavior. In the Types tab we can see the different types of connections possible to generate between the members. Thus, similarly we can assign joints between the members throughout our geometry using vertices. Defining each connection individually can be a lengthy process while working with large assemblies. Therefore to create multiple connections at one go, we can use the Object Generator tool. To create objects, we first need to define the entities we want to create connections between as, name selections. A name selection groups similar entities together under one name. It can be very helpful for assigning constraints at once while working with multiple members sharing similar behavior. To create a name selection for the wishbone vertices, we first hide the chassis geometry and then select all the wishbone vertices. Then, click the right mouse button and select the Create Name Selection option from the drop-down list. Let's assign the name as Wishbone Vertices and then click OK. The Wishbone Vertices name selection can now be seen under the Name Selection tab. Similarly, we can create the name selections for vertices of different members in our model. The Wishbone Vertices consists of the following vertices which we just created. The upper wishbone vertices, are the joining points of the upper A arms. The lower wishbone vertices, are the joining points of the lower A arms. The upright upper vertices, are the top ends of all the uprights. The upright lower vertices, are the lower ends of all the uprights. And, the chassis vertices consists of the joining points of suspension arms onto the chassis. Now, to generate objects, we first select the joint to be replicated and click on the Object Generator tool. Then selecting the Wishbone Vertices name selection as the reference and chassis vertices as the mobile component. We can define the maximum distance as 5 mm, it will be the furthest distance in which pairs will be generated. Keeping the Ignore Original box as ticked mark, thus it will not duplicate our reference joint while creating new joints. Once we hit the Generate button, the tool automatically creates joints based on the reference connection and assigned reference. To cross-check the connections we can see the locations where the connections have been defined or count them. Similarly, we define the connections between the uprights and wishbones. 
Once all the joints have been created, ensure they are applied as direct attachments, which scopes the joint directly to a single vertex and not by a remote point. We can then cross-check that the type of joints defined between chassis and wishbone are of spherical type. While the lower wishbones are connected to uprights as revolute and lastly, the upper wishbones are connected to uprights with spherical joints. Next, to add the spring connection between the chassis and uprights, let's go to the Connections tab, click on the right mouse button and select the spring option. Here, we select the reference body scope as the mid node of the upright and the mobile body scope as a point on the chassis frame. Thus a spring connection can be added to the frame, in this case the longitudinal stiffness is defined as 40. In the same manner, add the spring connection on the right hand side and rear of the chassis. Once all the connections and springs have been correctly attached in the model it is ready for meshing. We right click onto the mesh tab and select the sizing option. Then, selecting the chassis body as the geometry and a sample element size of 5 mm. Applying a sizing control provides a better control over how the mesh size is distributed on a face or within a body. Then, right click on the mesh tab and select the generate mesh button from the menu. The mesh is now generated on the chassis geometry. The elements can thus be seen on the model which are based on the given maximum element size. After meshing, the loads and boundary conditions for different analysis can now be applied onto the model.